Hey there, Pisces. Happy, happy days. How are you? Welcome in to Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, general read for your Twin Flame Soulmate Connection uh, for April um, 22nd through the 30th. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? There's no more rain here. Yay! Doing good. We're doing good. Okay. All right, so let's see what's going on for you and your connection. If this is not an existing soulmate, it could be a pending situation. If it doesn't resonate for you, if it does, stick around. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, the deck is freaking out. I like it when the deck does that because I'm like, okay, we're ready. So underneath Ace of Wands, passion, fresh passion, reigniting, re reigniting. Ten of Pentacles for you. How about that? Disappointment in love. You've been disappointed. They have two. I think it's about a difference of what you want. And there's other people involved here. Yes. Pisces. <clears throat> um, a spark of an idea or spark of thinking is showing you that this is uh, this connection here. You guys want different things. There's other people involved. You guys want different things. All right, so you have been thinking that this was very stable and it got upended, okay? And so now you're sort of like, what the F? What is going on here? Um, You've always been able to reignite the spark. You're trying to introduce this spark. Um, your person, moon, so Piscean energy here, um, is freaking them out a little bit. And they are wish want to share what their dreams are, wishes are, what they want. Okay, so you're going to have a conversation. Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups. They're thinking, Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords. They're like kind of done here. They're like, they're kind of done with, okay, if it's not done with you, they're done with a relationship that isn't working for them. There's something hidden here that they're not sharing. We're going to get a clarifier on that. There's something here that's not, something here that is not uh, immediately apparent to you, okay? So they, they are also freaked out by what's not apparent. The illusion of the moon, the, the feelings, the deep, the deep energy that's coming up, the deep feelings that are coming up for them are freaking them out, okay? So universe is trying to figure out how to balance this, how to make things work for both people. And like I said, there are other people involved here. Okay. And so the answer is to go toward the relationship that is the soulfully connected one. So for some of you, if this relationship is the soulfully connected one, that's the wish from this other person to be going toward the soulfully connected one. If you believe and feel that this is not the soulfully connected one, then the advice here is to move toward the soulfully, whichever relationship, if you have a choice here, go toward the soulfully connected one. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? You get me? Some of you, this is the right relationship and some of you, it is not. And I'm sorry to be ambiguous about that, but the answer to that is go toward the relationship that is most soulfully connected, that is like the twin flame, that is the soulmate, the deep soulmate. Go toward that. That's the, that is the answer to this. The moon card here, what's the moon card? Five of swords, they're struggling mightily with themselves. Why are they struggling so hard? Five of swords here. Wow. King of wands. One more, please you <gasps> somebody else broke their heart 
and they're struggling with that because that's the person that the, is their soulful connection. Somebody else broke their heart. Somebody broke their heart. The soulfully connected one, <laughs> boy, Pisces, this is a tough read. Why is this such a tough read? Because <clears throat> there's more people, <clears throat> excuse me, there's more people involved here. What's your five of cups? Uh, a work situation that's disappointing. One more, please. Knight of Pentacles, lots of Pentacles here. So you're wanting something, you're wanting something different than who they are. If you're being disappointed by this person, you're not seeing them correctly. You're wanting something that is this, Ten of Pentacles, that is stable. And I don't mean just like, oh, I want a lot of money or and nothing like that. But I want it to be stable and balanced. And this person is, this is a different flavor. All right. This is the passion, the King of Wands, Knight of, Nine of Cups. This person here that you're connecting with might even have some addiction problems. Those are things that are being hidden. They're also uh, still connected to a soulmate that they have a lot of pain around. Okay, so the answer for you up here, Queen of Swords, is that you, you want a type of relationship. Yeah, this is clarity coming, judgment. That, so whenever I do readings for people and they ask about one particular person, and it to me, it comes across that that person is not the one for them or they love them or there's some kind of big soulmate connection to this person, but it's not really what you want, right? Like that's a lesson too. It's teaching you that you want to, instead of saying, I want Jim to be for, as my husband, right? I want to marry Jim. Instead of saying, I want to marry Jim, say, I want to marry or I am going to marry, I am marrying the person of my dreams, the person who loves me back. This is the feeling, the experience I'm going to get from that. And what I'm seeing here is you might be seeing someone, you might have a lot of passion and might have a lot of connection to someone, but they are not the experience that you would be hoping for. Even though you love them, even though they love you, you might not, you might not have the experience that you want. Do you see, you get me here? There are other people involved. So, for example, in the twin flame community, I have seen a lot of couples who are twins, but they're twins with someone else. All right. They, they uh, drive to each other because of the frequency, but it's really somebody else that's their twin. This person's a twin. It's just not theirs. Right. So that's kind of the feeling I'm getting here is that you might be connected to them because of their frequency, because you think that's the soulmate or the twin flame that you are looking for, yet they are connected with their twin. You you need to be connected with your twin or you, well, you are connected with your twin, okay? But this person is not the twin that you're looking for. Wow. <laughs> it's always Pisces that pushes me to my limits. That's just your nature. All right, my loves. So we're going to do an extended read on this. Three cards for how it plays out, how, how you should move forward. Three cards for them, messages to you from this person. And then three cards for how it plays out for the relationship. Guidance from the universe, guidance from the oracle. Click on the link below. April 22nd to the 30th for Pisces. You guys always challenge me. I love you.